We will learn English from Dubrovnik, Kronik, Croatia. And it is located here, right by the Adriatic Sea. Here is Croatia. And Croatia is a country that curves around like this. There's a little opening for Bosnia and Herzegovina. And the city is right here. It is called the Pearl. Let me show you here. The Pearl of the Adriatic. It is a beautiful city. You can see right here with this green and blue water. And it is a port city, meaning ships, little ships will come in and dock there. Here's a better picture, a panoramic picture we call that, of the city right here. These are pearls, meaning it's something very special. It's a, one of the best tourist cities in Croatia. Some of the things to see there include the old town. But what happened between 1991 to 1995, there was the Croatian War. And you can see it here. The city got bombed and a lot of damage, damage to the city. But you can see it's beautiful now. Some of the attractions, what they call that, are the Rollins Column, Bell Tower, and others. I will show you here. This is Rollins Column from a night during the Middle Ages. Here is the Bell Tower for an attraction there. This is the Sponza Palace. And a palace is a beautiful house or place to live. Usually kings and queens lived there a long time ago. And now it's just a tourist place or a museum or an attraction to see. Here's another palace, Rector's Palace, you can see there. And another attraction to Dubrovnik is this big Onofrio's fountain. Here's a fountain. Let me go down a little bit to show you better. A fountain is a place with water. So here's a good example of the water coming out. The city walls are an attraction. These walls were in during the Middle Ages to stop the Ottoman Turks and other foreign invaders. The churches are very beautiful. And some words for churches are a monastery or a cathedral. And they were built in the Baroque time and other eras in the past. Here is an example of the St. Ignatius Church right here with the beautiful columns and paintings that go on there. Swimming would be fun there on the beach. Here is La Pod Beach right here where you can swim and lay out and get a tan. One of the coolest things to see is the Dubrovnik Summer Festival. And it is 2,000 artists from 30 countries during 47 days where they do many open air performances. So let me show you some pictures of that here. So here are the people, the tourists, viewing the festival. Here's an example of the opening day. 
here is one of the performer here is one of the performers another great attraction is the Dubrovnik cable car these right here are cables and this they refer to as the car or many people call it a gondola something that I always love is where to eat and the first classification is a budget budget which means cheaper or lower price you have down here mid-range which is here's low middle and expensive so this would be in the middle the mid-range restaurants and when they say splurge they means it's expensive you will spend a lot of money and here we have Gill's Cuisine, Natika and this Porit restaurant here the first expensive restaurant is Natika and you can see here these are shrimp and you have a beautiful view of the city walls so that looks very delicious this is Gill's restaurant and you can see it's very beautiful on the inside here is the menu of Gill's so they have great fish meat on the grill and what I like here is the local tuna because it's the fish that comes from the sea there it's a nice fish and local means it's right there and the last beautiful place to see is the Hilton here this Hilton Imperial and I will go through the pictures here look at the interior there on the outside here at night would just be wonderful so that is our travel English for today Dubrovnik I hope you learned something if uh, you like learning English through channel please subscribe and I will make many many more travel videos in the future so take care and bye bye